Welcome to another cookbang, you guys. Today we're having Korean fried rice with uh, corn cheese, mozzarella happiness. You'll see it in a second. And we're also having bulgogi with sem, sam, sem. You know what it is. Um, basically, I'm just gonna wrap it up with some perilla leaves and lettuce. It's amazing. I got these recipes actually at Kukat and Manchi. Everyone knows who Manchi is. Um, I'll link it down below. Um, so thank you for inspiring me. These recipes look amazing and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So let's put in our oil. Let's call this the um, ASMR part of the video. A lot of people are saying the searing and the cooking is very relaxing. So I like that. All right, so we're gonna get that oil heated up. So we're gonna add some onions. Kimchi. Oh my god, it smells so good. So I'm gonna add in the garlic, some red pepper powder, and then some sugar as well. I'm not sure if I'm the only one, but um, there are a lot of Kukat. I can't pronounce it. It's Kukat or something like that. I always go on Facebook and I'm always waking up to it. I always see their videos shared by my friends. And the recipes are amazing. And I think, oh, best. I think they're the most interesting recipes to watch um, as far as Korean food goes. Oh, that smells so good. All right, so I think that kimchi is good. Now I have some day old rice here. So make sure that if you're making fried rice, it is day old rice. You don't want to use fresh rice because um, the fresh white rice is a little too mushy. And what happens is that your food, yeah, your rice ends up being really soft. You want it to be kind of hard, right? Chewy. So that cold rice will definitely give you those results. I know a lot of people were um, kind of agreeing on how far I am uh, from the camera and that I guess I'm not close enough and I don't know. I guess there's a weird distance between the camera and I. First of all, I want to explain why. It is because I use a wide angle lens and it looks really wide and the, this is actually quite close to the camera but it doesn't appear that way. Um, so that means that I might have to consider using um, another type of lens. And also too, I feel that with this lens, for you to be able to see all this whole setting here, I would have to be kind of far. And the camera would have to step back just a little bit. Because I cannot, um, I can't zoom in anymore. And if I do zoom in, it cuts off on all the food, so. I just can't win. This is 
Bismarck looks so freaking good. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off right now. I'm gonna scoop it in this bowl, and then we're gonna start on our bulgogi. Oh, look at all that charred goodness here. That is so good. Mmm. I'm so excited for this. Let's see here. All right, so now we're gonna work on the bulgogi. Let's put some oil on this. So the bulgogi has been pre-marinated. I would suggest doing that. I did this actually a few days in advance just because I really want the flavors to um, to really get into that pork. This is actually thin, thinly sliced pork. I don't know, I think it's pork shoulder, pork butt. I'm not sure. But it smells so good. All right, let's go ahead and put this guy in. So normally, you would actually grill bulgogi, because I think with the grilling method, you get pretty much the best flavor you can get. Um, because I guess with the coal, you know, when the, the fat drippings and the sauce drippings get into that coal, that that flavor actually gets infused into the, uh, into the pork during the grilling process. The sound is really nice, actually, with the, with the cooking. I can actually see why you guys like it. I was thinking about separating, you know, with my cookbangs. I was thinking about separating the videos. The cooking portion will be a video, and then the eating portion will be another video. Let me know what you guys think. Unless you just like the combination of both, I'm okay with that too. I have no issues with that. Here. It's looking almost ready. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit because I kind of like my bulgogi. I wouldn't say like burnt. I would say maybe well done. You know, I I kind of like the charry edges. Everyone's different. Cream barbecue. It's different for everyone. Some people want it ra uh, medium rare. Some people want it. A little on the burnt side, which for me, pork belly is, I think, more enjoyable on the burnt side. Now I'm going to top it off with some green, freshly cut green onions. Oh, smells so good. And then I've got the sesame seeds. Can't go wrong with that. And voila, does not look so good. I'm going to turn it down. Cool, so while that's going, I'm going to finish this up, okay? All right, so I just added in uh, the kimchi fried rice, and then I put in the corn on the sides, and then I added the mozzarella cheese. So what's going to happen now, I didn't bring a cover, which is unfortunate, so I'm going to do that. So I'll let the cheese melt for just a little bit while we're waiting. Oh my god. That looks incredible. So the cheese is melted. I can see the corn. 
the fried rice looks amazing. I think it's burning at the bottom, which is what we want because I want some of that charred goodness. I'm going to top it off with some of the seaweed here. Amazing. Honestly, I think we are ready. Do you want to see? Holy shit. Look at this cheesy goodness. That's so crazy. Oh, honestly, I am beside myself. I don't even know what to do. This looks so freaking good. All right, so I have that, some of that, um, the red pepper paste and then the bean, the bean paste in here all mixed up with some other ingredients I'll list it down below for this wrap here. But I really, 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 really want to try this cheesy fried rice for us. So we'll mix that all up. Mm. So cheesy. Oh my god, it's like a cheese string mess. <sighs> Holy crap. Speechless. Speechless. Oh my god, that was so good. All right, I'm gonna make us some of this delicious wrap. I love my stuff with jalapenos and a little bit of garlic. See there? Very simple, wrap this guy up. Mmm. So flavorful. I really honestly, I urge you to marinate this two days in advance. You will not regret it. Oh my god. This string action is insane. I got some garlic, not garlic, what I'm talking about, spinach, anchovies. Mmm, I love anchovies. Pickled radish. And bean sprouts. And coconut water. I don't even know what to say. This is crazy.
Sorry for the car car noise. I have the windows open again. It's actually raining today, but I have it open because I'm actually cooking. So just like Manchi. Mmm. Ooh. Let's see here. Eating raw garlic is definitely something that most people do not do. Nice little kick there. <clears throat> Come on. I am telling you, wow. It's like, no words, just no words. I think you're supposed to put the whole thing in your mouth at once, but the reason why I don't do it is because I tend to like to look at my food. Like I look at it first before I put it in my mouth, even though I eat really fast. I don't know if anyone's noticed it, but I always look at my food. This is a cheesy mess. Cheesy mess. Mm. Mm. 
And the reason why I mean, I'm always, whenever I'm eating, I'm always putting more food in my mouth before even swallowing what I had put in it before. But that's because I love all the flavors together, which I've already mentioned, men, mentioned, which I've already mentioned several times before. But I enjoy tasting everything together. I just turned this back on right now so that the cheese starts melting. Watching those videos on Facebook, you know, those recipe videos, basically where I got this idea from. Like, I think mukbang is the answer to basically food shows, you know, like Food Network, all that stuff. Um, cooking shows that we watch. But the reason why I think it's the answer is because, you know, every time you watch that food, the cooking show, they cook their food, but they don't necessarily eat it. And if they do eat it, it's literally like one or two bites. And you see all that hard work. And you don't even get to see them enjoy it. And that's why I think mukbang is really the answer to the future of cooking shows. Mmm.
Let's mix this all up. There was actually an article that's going around on Facebook right now, and I and it's in regards to mukbang. They only really talk about mukbang in Korea. They don't really talk. Oh, or in Japan? Yeah, just Korea or Japan or both or whatever. But they were mentioning how it's like this new phenomenon, which it isn't new because it's been it's been a while now since this has been out, but. Aside from that, it, I looked at the comments and the views, and um, I looked at the comments section, not the views, I'm sorry, and, God, sorry, there's just so much salt going on in this food right now that my brain is fried. Salt and cheese. Um, but yeah, I was reading the comments, and it looks like people are still very weirded out by it, so I'm talking about the Western culture at least, but... Yeah, here people don't think that you should be slurping and um, chewing loudly with your food. I guess there are still certain some people that are particular about their mukbangs, you know, about the person that's eating it as well. But people still are not ready for this, and this is not... It's still not for everyone, but honestly, one day, I really do think there's going to be a show. A really tr a true mukbang, maybe on a, a Food Network channel, where people are actually going to start sitting down and eating their food, and people are going to watch it. I really, really do think that's going to happen. Sometime soon, too, you know? Um, I don't think this is as crazy as it sounds or as it looks. I really don't. Maybe because I've done it for so long, but... Maybe you've been watching it for so long, but it's really not that strange. It really isn't, you know, but there's still a lot of people that can't handle it and can't figure it out. Um, um, I watched Kimi's video regarding um, her weight loss journey and all that good stuff and how she's trying not to eat so much food. Um, I actually agree with her. I really do. Because eating this lar large amount of... Um, cheese, anything really bad for you. All that sodium, all that salt, all that fat can really take a toll. And um, I'm going to, I guess at this point, stop eating in my mukbangs if I really tru truly feel like I can't eat anymore. And with that said, I am going to stop now because it's a little too much. The whole point here is to, I guess, you know, no one's paying me extra money for eating more food. It's just, I'm going to stop when I want to, you know, and I'm only going to show you that cooking and that eating and that uh, I'm going to share that company with you. But to overeat, is just really pushing the line. And honestly, like, we cannot maintain our weight if we push this to push ourselves to the limit. I just don't think that's right. Not in my channel. So I, I'm on I'm on the same line with Kimi. I will stop when I want to and I will pack this and this will be quite delicious tomorrow. Um, but I enjoyed uh, having you as my company. Thank you so much that this was incredible. Please try it, it's so simple. Um, I'm sorry that my battery cut out earlier. You didn't see the part where I put in the corn or the mozzarella. Stupid computer. I knew it was going to happen, but I didn't change it. Anyways, I didn't miss out on any footage, so we're all good. Thanks for hanging out with me. I will see you next time. Love you. Bye.